Um, I actually wanted to share because uh, of what he just mentioned. Um, I have been, never felt part of the gay community so much. I know it's a larger community and I was part of the, the fringe, so I never felt like I belonged. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to exist in a world where there's so much hate and, you know, in recent history, maybe six or seven, eight years, it's taken me a lot to, you know, let go of other people's perceptions of me and other people's projections of what they think I am, you know, I, I am an artist, I'm a lover, I'm a, I'm a compassionate person, I am a best friend to you if you accept me and allow me to be, but if you hate me, then I just, you know, sort of cut myself off from you. Um, you know, th that's why I love coming to things like this and being a part of the whole, you know, burner community because I, I'm allowed to exist and be how I want to be without fear of, oh, am I being too gay right now? Yeah. How are my hands? Am I swishing too much? If I'm <laughs> dancing in public, oh no, I, I can only dance, you know, I, I shouldn't be like, you know, too twerky or too, you know, fabulous about it because someone might judge and harsh my buzz, you know? But, you know, I've, I've learned to kind of let go of that and if you hate people like me, so be it. But, you know, all I can really give is, is love and give of me what I can until I feel like that part's rejected and then I can just sort of move on. We love you! I want to say you. thank you to everyone who yeah, we love people like you, and we know ourselves well enough to know that there's a lot of people in you, and we're willing to love them all. Okay, so, um, all right.